So these eddies are important in terms of structuring the marine environment. Some people think of the ocean as sort of one big homogenous water column, but in fact it's, it's really peppered with all these different ecosystems. It creates this little network of cities that don't interact with one another. Right, it can be like their own little islands. The hubris that it is to come out on a boat and drop a bottle and capture some water and then, and then say that that represents this, right? So autonomous instruments and satellites are absolutely the future of our, of our field. This is the first test of these vehicles in the open ocean and we're hoping that we can use them to sort of sample for us and be able to get better characterizations of these eddies as they travel through them to the level that we would never be able to even aboard a ship. The long-range autonomous underwater vehicles that uh, Monterey Bay Research Institute has come up with are starting to move the lab activity where you're mixing some of the chemistry in with the biology to do it in situ and try and capture things a little bit more in a dynamic sense. If you can flash freeze what's going on in the microbial world right when it's happening, the idea is are they having lunch? Are they having dinner? What are they eating for lunch? What are they eating for dinner? Those types of things are uh, pretty exciting. Instead of kind of sampling blindly, you just want to have this bloodhound out there sniffing the whole swaths of the ocean and able to take a sample at particular spots where you see something interesting going on. So that's never been available. I think this is one of the very few times where we have so many different technologies and different types of data collected at the same time. It's like if you could imagine stepping into the Amazon for the first time and you're the one who has to classify all the plants, the insect life, the animals, the flora, the fauna, the weather. That's kind of what we're doing out here in the middle of the ocean. So all the different data coming off of these instruments is really going to help us understand how microbial communities respond to this unique eddy ecosystem and therefore we can translate that into global ocean models to better understand how the oceans are going to change into the future. You need to know what's going on and need to know quickly because uh, things are changing really fast. Faster than any of us ever imagined.